Welcome back. The coronavirus pandemic has made many people put their athletic dreams on hold. Coeur d'Alene CrossFit athlete Tia Vesser is one of those people. Hopefully for Tia, she'll get another shot at her dream next year, and she'll use the events that transpired this year to help motivate her towards her ultimate goal. Once I said it out loud, I want to get to the games. It just, it went from there. When Tia Vesser sets a goal, <sighs> she's going to achieve it. Your mom's kind of a beast. How cool is that? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be able to brag about her and stuff. In two years, the 51 year old Vesser went from a relative unknown in the CrossFit world to a CrossFit Games competitor last year. Oh my gosh, it was overwhelming. I mean, I was so excited to be there. But Vesser wasn't just satisfied with going to the games last year and placing seventh. She pushed herself harder this year and it paid off. On April 29th, she found out she had placed first in her age group qualifier for the CrossFit Games, not just in the U.S., but in the entire world. It was um, shocking. I was really, really proud of myself and just overwhelmed. That shock returned shortly thereafter, though. She learned that the CrossFit Games competition she competes in, the Masters, was not to be this year. I learned I was number one in the world, and then 24 hours later, there was an Instagram post. Like, we weren't even told about it. So I saw on a post that they had canceled the Masters, which I knew it was a possibility. You just, it's a crazy time. I knew it was maybe going to happen. I knew more likely than not it was going to happen, but it's still a gut punch. Tia's community at CrossFit Coeur d'Alene wouldn't let her accomplishment fade that quickly, though. With the help of the Coeur d'Alene Police Department, they arranged a mini parade for Tia three days after CrossFit's announcement. <laughs> she had no idea it was coming. It was, it just touched me so much, and it's what this gym is. It's just, it's what they do. Everybody celebrates everybody. It does, we could celebrate somebody for getting their first pull up somebody for PRing their squat, um, and they celebrate me for being number one in the world. It's all relative. We celebrate everybody that's in here. Her feeling like people appreciated what she did, I think it almost made up for not being able to go to the games. I think it made her feel a lot better. The PE teacher was originally planning on taking it easy this coming year after competing this summer. But remember what I said earlier about Tia Vesser and goals? With the cancellation of the CrossFit Masters, this is now a goal unfulfilled. And that doesn't fly with Tia. Does that motivate you at all for, for next year? Yeah, it does. Like, I thought I was going to kind of take this next year off, just let my body recover. Because, you know, when you're 51, 52, you're thinking, I don't know how much, how many more hours I can put on this body. It needs a little recovery time. But I think I'm going, I, I'm going to try again. Regardless of what happens next for Tia, she's defying the stereotype of a traditional athlete. That's more meaningful to her than a ranking or a trophy. I like proving them wrong. I like to show people that age doesn't define you. Um, I'm peaking right now. Like, I, I didn't peak when I was 20. I'm peaking at 51, and I still think I have room to grow. So I, if I can do it, anybody can.